Remembrance Day, also known as Poppy Day, has been observed in Britain since the end of the First World War to remember the members of the armed forces who have died in the line of duty. The red remembrance poppy has become a familiar emblem of Remembrance Day due to the poem in Flanders Field. The poppy was the first flower to grow on the churned up land that had been destroyed by four years' worth of fighting. In this year's Remembrance Assembly, we want to talk to you about a battle that happened 100 years ago, in 1915, called the Battle of Luz. The Battle of Luz is remembered for many reasons. It was the first time the volunteer regiments raised by Lord Kitchener were used in a major attack. It was also the first time the British used poisonous gas as a weapon. And, with 20 Scottish regiments fighting, it was also the greatest number of Scots ever to fight together in the British Army during World War I. Almost 700,000 Scots served in the Great War. 150,000 lost their lives. Throughout World War I, the Scottish soldiers, soldiers had a reputation for being fierce and brave. The sight of Scots in traditional kilts stuck fear into their enemies. They were known as devils in skirts and ladies from hell. The Scottish regiments were also famous for their bagpipers, who stood unarmed playing stirring music to rouse the soldiers out of the trenches and into battle. This is the story of Piper Daniel Laidlaw. On the 25th of September 1915, at 5.20am, Britain planned to retaliate to a German gas attack by launching one of their one. The conditions were ideal with a light wind drifting over no man's land towards the German trenches, a wind that would be perfect to carry the smoke and chlorine gas to the unsuspecting Germans, or at least that was what they thought. With the gas released, the British prepared for the infantry assault that was to follow the gas attack, an attack that would not end in a success. The direction of the wind changed and blew the gas back towards the British. Ready in their trenches, the men of the 7th King's own Scottish borderers were under heavy shell fire. They were also caught out by the poisonous gas. A few of the men began to choke and cough. The rest were shaken by the disturbing images that was unfolding before them. The commanding officer glanced over the scene as saw Laidlaw standing with pipes waiting orders to go over the top. Pipe them together, Laidlaw, for God's sake, pipe them together, cried the commanding officer. Immediately Laidlaw climbed onto the parapet and began marching up and down the length of the trench. Bullets whizzed past him, shells burst near him, but oblivious to the danger he played, all the blue bonnets over the border. The effect it had on his company was almost magical. Seeing the men take courage, the commanding officer gave the order to advance and shouted, Come on, borderers, he'll be the first to reach the German trenches. Those not overcome by the gas swarmed up out of the trenches with bayonets bristling and followed Laidlaw into the assault. Men began falling all around him, but Laidlaw continued piping until he got near the German lines. Here he was hit and fell wounded, and the officers beside him was killed. He managed to get up and hobble after the regiment, still playing his pipes. For his efforts, the 40-year-old Laid Law was prompted to Sergeant Piper as well as receiving the Victoria Cross for bravery. The official entry in the London Gazette, November 18, 1915, read, During the worst of the bombardment, Piper Laid Law, seeing that his company was badly shaken from the effects of the gas, with absolute coolness and disregard of danger, mounted the parapet, marched up and down and played company out of the trench. The effect of his splendid example was immediate and the company dashed out to the assault. Piper Laidlaw continued playing his pipes until he was wounded. Despite the brave attempts of Scottish regiments, the battle was a failure. British casualties were about twice as high as German casualties and little ground was gained. To many at home, the huge loss of life came as a shock. And 1,300 Scots took part in the Battle of Flues. Of the 2,100 killed, over 7,000 were Scottish soldiers. Almost every town and village in Scotland was affected by the Battle of Flues.